Hi and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we're taking a look at a watch from a brand called Etienne. This is their first and, as far as I can tell, the only model they offer. It comes in three color variants, this regular blue, a lighter shade ice blue and a green one. Since their first contact with me, I was blown away by the beauty of this piece in the pictures, as it is something completely different to all the divers and other popular designs out there that we're used to seeing. Dressy in execution, with no loom whatsoever, it made me interested right away, so I agreed they send one in for a review as a loner. Upon receiving it, I was initially blown away, as in person, it looks even better. Even the 39mm case, which I was afraid will be too large for a dressy all dial design, turned out to be perfectly sized for pretty much any wrist including my small 6.5 inch one. Despite me usually preferring watches up to 36 when it comes to this type and style. The secret to it not looking too big is the brushed silver chaptering with hour markers and numerals engraved in it. Since it matches the bezel and case in color, it visually shrinks the dial, giving the watch perfect proportions. The inner part of the dial that comes in a variety of colors is actually CNC machined to give it its unique pattern and then transparent NML is applied in several layers over it to create a shiny and flat surface. The effect is stunning and mesmerizing to look at. The short lug to lug of just over 46mm and the 9mm thickness combined with a slight curvature of the lugs make it wear incredibly comfortable as well. And the blue crazy horse leather strap is supple, conforms to the wrist and has a unique finish of being smooth but giving it a buck leather kind of look. Again not something I'm used to seeing but have to admit I like it. The case is as classically shaped as it can be with polished top surfaces that include the smooth domed bezel and curved lugs and brushed sides that feature no crown guards whatsoever, making the operation of a rather small crown surprisingly easy. Which is a good thing, as this thing is yet again different to what we're used to even when it comes down to the movement used. Instead of the usual automatic offerings found in 95% of micro brands out there, this one uses a manual wind ETA Pesos 7001 that was used in many established brands including Nomos, Longines and even Omega. It is a lovely little manual wind movement that beats at 21,600 bph, comes with 45 hours of power reserve and has no hacking, which in case of this watch wouldn't make a difference even if it did, as it features no seconds hand. What it does give the watch is the slimness, which in turn transforms to the perfect proportions I mentioned before. The only downside is the size of it, and the fact you can see just how small it is through a sapphire exhibition case back. Maybe it would have been better if they used a closed case back, as like this you get a vibe the movement doesn't fit the case. But honestly, that is far from being a deal breaker given how gorgeous the watch looks on the side you will be looking at. Now what is a deal breaker, at least with this exact watch, is the quality of the hands. With a price of just under $1500, this amount of dust and foreign materials found on the hands under macro is simply unacceptable. I hope it is down to this being a review sample and not a full on production model as the finish of the hands and the rest of the watch is really good. It just looks like the hands were left on a bench uncovered for a week before being installed in the watch. Usually when watches are full of dust like this it is found on the whole dial, but here there is no dust found anywhere but on the hands, making me believe it really is an isolated case. If we ignore the dust, the hands are spectacular, leaf shaped, curved and mirror polished, they really stand out and are surprisingly legible in pretty much any condition except full on darkness. As always, a brand that tries to do something original as their debut model automatically gets respect from me, and Etienne with such a gorgeous and mature design gets even more. But I find it to be priced quite high for a simple dressy watch, especially given the dust issue. Like I said, 
it might be down to this being a pre-production sample. But if you're a micro brand that is just starting and you ask this amount of cash for your first model, every single one better be perfect, including the ones you send out for a review. Nonetheless, I like what they did and can't wait to see what they come up with next. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and until the next video, bye.